The New York City Department of Environmental Protection is the department of the Government of New York City that manages the city's water supply. Under a $1.3 billion budget, it provides more than 1.1 billion U.S. gallons cubic meters of water each day to more than 9 million residents including 8 million in the city of New York through a complex network of 19 reservoirs, 3 controlled lakes and 6,000 miles kilometers of water mains, tunnels and aqueducts. DEP is also responsible for managing the city's combined sewer system, which carries both storm water runoff and sanitary waste, and 14 wastewater treatment plants located throughout the city. DEP carries out Federal Clean Water Act rules and regulations, handles hazardous materials emergencies and toxic site remediation, oversees asbestos monitoring and removal, enforces the city's air and noise codes, bills and collects on city water and sewer accounts, and manages citywide water conservation programs. Its regulations are compiled in Title 15 of the New York City Rules. Topic: Facilities. Topic: Drinking water. NYCDEP manages three upstate supply systems to provide the city's drinking water, the Croton system, the Catskill system, and the Delaware system. The overall distribution system has a storage capacity of 550 billion US gallons, 2.1 times 109 cubic meters, and provides over 1 billion US gallons, 3,800,000 cubic meters per day of water to more than 8 million city residents and another 1 million users in four upstate counties bordering on the water supply system. The distribution system is made up of an extensive grid of water mains stretching approximately 6,600 miles Wastewater treatment The city's wastewater is collected through an extensive grid of sewer pipes of various sizes and stretching over 7,400 miles the Bureau of Wastewater Treatment BWT operates 14 water pollution control plants treating an average of 1.3 billion US gallons, 4,900,000 cubic meters of wastewater a day, 96 wastewater pump stations, 8 dewatering facilities and 490 sewer regulators. The Bureau has a staff of 1,900 employees, with a $340 million annual operating budget, and an annual capital budget of $200 million. Commissioners <laughs> 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 The current commissioner Vincent Sapienza was appointed by Mayor Bill de Blasio in October 2017. Sapienza served as acting commissioner for 16 months after previous commissioner Emily Lloyd stepped down in June 2016. Emily Lloyd was appointed by Mayor Bill de Blasio for the second time as Commissioner of the Department of Environmental Protection in February 2014. 
Other former commissioners include Frank McArdle, 1978 to 81; Joe McGoff, 1982 to 86; Harvey Schultz, 1986 to 89; Albert Appleton, 1990 to 93; Marilyn Gelber, 1994 to 96; Joel Meal, 1996 to 2002; Christopher Ward, 2002. 204 Caswell F Holloway 2009 to 2011 and Carter H Strickland Jr 2011 to 2014 Commissioners serve at the will of the mayor of New York City Topic <laughs> Violation of federal environmental laws The federal government began investigating the DEP in 1998. On August 29, 2001, the DEP pleaded guilty in federal court to criminal violations of the Clean Water Act and the Toxic Substances Control Act, and sentenced to probation. As a condition of probation, the DEP was required to implement an environmental, health and safety compliance program to prevent future environmental law violations and to improve employee safety working conditions. In 2003, the Office of Environmental, Health and Safety Compliance EHS was formed to administer the DEP's comprehensive safety and compliance efforts, which included the EHS Employee Concerns Program. In 2006, the term of probation was extended and the BWT was included under the Federal Monitor's oversight following a discharge of untreated sewage into the East River after emergency generators failed to operate during the August 2003 blackout. On December 25, 2009, probation and federal oversight of the DEP ended. Topic EHS programs. Topic Employee Concerns Program. Facilitates DEP employee reporting of observed environmental violations and unsafe employee conditions helps employees identify and prevent the harassment and intimidation of co-workers engaged in such activities. 24-7 Confidential Employee Concerns Hotline Contract Management Plan to quicken execution of safety-related contracts Risk Management Program Topic. Tiered audit program Rates conditions by priority, enabling the agency to identify and address more than 44,000 specific workplace conditions. Topic. Compliance action plan Ensures DEP follows all federal, state and local environmental, health and safety regulations by developing written policies, conducting training, and by purchasing and distributing safety equipment. Since 2001, DEP has invested about $160 million in environmental health and safety programs. Topic OPX program In 2011, the New York City Water Board appointed Veolia Water to partner with DEP in an effort to identify opportunities to make improvements in every aspect of New York City's drinking water, sewage collection, and wastewater treatment operations. Veolia teamed with McKinsey and & Company and Arcades to acquire additional analytical and technical expertise, respectively. The initiative, 
Branded Operational Excellence OPX, the best always do better, is an opportunity for DEP to take employee ideas and best practices from water utilities across the globe to achieve the agency goal of being the safest, most productive, cost effective, and transparent water utility in the nation, rather than responding to future financial pressures with budget cuts that might weaken critical services. Is, the OPX initiative makes improvements that will increase the strength of DEP. The OPX program aims to streamline workflows, boost efficiency, and continuously identify opportunities for improvements that will allow DEP to maintain its level of customer service, safety, and productivity while minimizing rate increases for its roughly 836,000 rate payers. To achieve this, the Commissioner set a goal for OPX to achieve operating benefits of $100–200 by 2016. See also Environmental issues in New York City New York City Department of Environmental Protection Police New York City Office of Administrative Trials and Hearings Oath, for hearings conducted on summonses for quality of life violations issued by the department.